Hello, hello. I was walking for a few minutes to um, gather a little bit of what might want to be <laughs> expressed. And usually it's hard to say when I start, so I'm trying to stay a little calmer today. <laughs> not everyone will resonate with the uh, the more passionate side of me which is fine it's okay I'll try and be a little more balanced um, but still be myself so because the Sun is out finally and uh, it just feels a little bit like it might stay warm now um, <laughs> it's easier to Kind of be more calm as you walk like you know when it's raining or snowing it's a little bit more um you know you, you gotta think about that uh although snow can be very calming to walk through so um i think it, it, it was quite simple but it could be complicated but i've said this before um about connecting to nature as your source of God, universe, all, all of existence, because we are here, we are on this planet to explore and to understand ourselves and when we come into nature, this is where a lot of uh, the mysterious energies lie. And they don't, I mean, when I say mysterious, it's like so much more than we're aware of that exists in a simple forest or a simple river or lake. And uh, in every single particle that exists really the whole universe exists in one of your cells the universe exists and if you're not completely aware of what that means like I know there's a lot of awakened people that listen to me um, but I do want to help people who don't know or don't understand this to also be able to understand it so everything on earth is a teacher, like every plant and animal is a teacher. And you know, if you, you don't need to know uh, exactly how that feels. Let's say if you sit next to a tree or touch a tree, you don't really need to believe it even. But if you just sit and close your eyes and just feel your own body as you press the tree with your hands or the back, right? Like, you know, I've done this many times. <laughs> There's a tree there. Okay. And you just close your eyes and then you can take a few deep breaths, really. And what you do is, well, to make it simple, you just tune in. You just tune in to the feeling and like usually the the easiest thing to feel is like kind of a flowing downwards of energy. And then imagine that going into the earth as it goes down into like through the tree down into the earth and then back up through your feet and into your whole body. So it's like you're connecting the earth energy from the roots of the tree right up your body into your whole spine up to the crown then send that energy up and imagine it circulating back down into the tree and into you so this is just a nice little visualization it's like a circle a never-ending circle of energy so this is this is how you can really connect and you may only feel it but if you also see it then you know you can start to see it too it's like a flow of energy I'm more um, feeling, feeling it, uh, but you can imagine like white light or whatever color resonates with you flowing down and up 
down and up, and maybe the direction is reverse. So, my dog's not letting me walk because she says it's school. Okay, <laughs> go. So, <laughs> yes. So this is one way you can meditate with a tree, and by doing that, you are connecting with universal consciousness, energy, creator, God, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I just say God because um, you can also look at the word generator, organizer, destroyer. That's just a way to look at it from uh, my Kundalini Yoga training. So, you know, you you have all access to the universe within you i find nature is the easiest way to access and animals because animals are pure innocence they don't have any agendas you can just connect and, and it's good to have animals a lot of you know some people don't want pets but even like when you're outside just stare at a bird look at the little funny squirrel but like just see it for what it really is you know i, I always see them like like, can you not cross the road, please? Like, you know, I sometimes I wonder, I'm like, don't you guys see? It's not their fault, right? Some people think squirrels are a little stupid that way. <laughs> but they're innocent. See, we've invaded their space. They should be able to run free and not get hit by anything. So, see the divinity in all animals. You know, one thing that, uh, one term I don't really like is like, oh, you eat like a pig, or pig is used as like something to offend a person but really pigs are like like five-year-old kids like they are the the intelligence of a five-year-old maybe even <laughs> more and they're like dogs and they run up to you and they want to play and you know a lot of people don't understand these things the divinity and the sentient beings that they are and the consciousness that they have they are souls like some people may not believe this but i i hundred percent believe because I see it in my own pets these are souls incarnated into these pets they have contracts here some of them are meant to be slaughtered and tortured and you know I look at my dog and I'm like oh my god she was so close so close to getting sold probably to a meat farm in Korea and tortured and slaughtered and that's what they do there and then they eat it because they think it's they think it's gonna help them you know be stronger or healthier and I look at her and I'm like, that wasn't part of your plan. That wasn't your contract. It was, you, you started there, but it was, it was never part of where you were meant to go. Like, I look at her and I'm like, you're so lucky, but it's not even that she's lucky. This little girl right here. Nala. Hi, Nala. <laughs> Sorry, she didn't realize that <laughs> the camera's at her. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's that she wasn't meant to go there at all and again all souls have contracts right but it's really good to see the divinity in every single animal and plant they are all part of this entire universe and each one has the representation of God and the universe in them okay she doesn't want to go this way all right we go we'll go this way I follow her <laughs> she usually knows where to go uh, okay, so I'm, I'm not sure what this video, I think the point I'm getting across is God is in everything, but um, because I don't eat animals, um, I value them in a way that there are lots of people that don't see. And I gave pigs as an example because a lot of people just eat bacon like, yeah, it's great, you know, but you have to look beyond that piece of greasy thing on your plate and realize that was a conscious being and it went through some suffering to be on your plate at least be grateful for the fact that it's there and it went through that it probably was not killed humanely and I don't even think there's a way to kill humanely yes you could maybe do it in a way that doesn't torture them first you know like in the summer those hot trucks the poor animals in there and they the half like a lot of them die on the way to the slaughterhouse like it's it's a sad sad story and therefore I will never eat meat again and a lot of people have fought me on this and said well you're gonna that's not good for you you need you're missing protein and you know what there's probably hundreds of thousands of 
vegetarians and vegans in this world and they're doing perfectly fine and if they're not they'll take a supplement because maybe they're not getting something from the diet and they're still working on how to do that so you don't have necessarily teeth like sharp teeth of cats and dogs naturally we are people will argue with me oh we're omnivores yes we are capable of eating meat but the question is is it necessary and some people really don't do well without meat. But I know something. When someone's consciousness shifts to realize the divinity of, of all nature and animals and the innocence in everything. Because I understand animals eat animals. Like for example, my, my, my dog wants to chase every single squirrel, every single chipmunk and bird she sees. But that's her instinct and that's natural you know that's part of her nature part of our nature you know we're not necessarily like carnivore carnivores like you know anyway this might not be something that everyone agrees with but i'm not here to convince anyone of anything the whole point was god is in everything and once you start understanding that it'll be easier to understand that all you need to do is connect to these souls. There is a soul in every single blade of grass. There is a consciousness in every single animal. There is a consciousness in every single tree. Everything has consciousness. And that alone for me is enough to respect. And let's say one day, you know, I'm stuck on an island and I'm stranded. If it comes to that point where I do need to eat an animal, then I will do it with the utmost respect and gratitude for it. Because I know that it was a sentient being, a creature of love and light just like every single being on this planet and it deserves it deserves respect and nature deserves respect so littering that's not respectful to nature I see litter every single day and I'm picking it up most days um, trees deserve respect you know mindlessly cutting down a tree that tree has consciousness. Sorry, I get emotional because, because uh, the house I moved away from, the new people chopped down all the trees and they were beautiful fruit trees and my dad planted them years ago and it made me sad. And um, I had to work with the energy of it and know that it was part of their destiny and their consciousness still exists in some way, in my heart at least. <laughs> but it made me sad because I, I genuinely loved those trees. And they all had their own specific energy. So if it were me and I had a piece of land, I'd let everything overgrow. That's why I probably need to be far away in a farm where nobody tells me what to do and how to grow my property. Because I, I truly believe in letting everything naturally grow and being in harmony with one another. Everything has a natural way of being. And the best thing to do is to allow everything to be itself. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I just feel like humans have taken advantage of the consciousness of this planet. And I think that's, I pray, I feel, and a lot of people feel this, that this new earth is coming. And you know what, it might take a bit longer than expected, but I do feel that there is a reason why a lot of this is happening. And part of it is to create a bigger awakening, especially towards the way we treat our planet and each other. All right, so um, that's all I really feel like I needed to say. So just be more mindful of your surroundings, the God consciousness, the Christ consciousness, God consciousness, universal consciousness, and everything that surrounds you, your, your, the animals, your own pets, 
your plants. Maybe maybe I'll do a video on specifically plants. I have a lot I have a lot growing around in my apartment. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. Love, light, and health to you. Have a nice day.